Joining us now on the phone from outside the municipal building in Virginia Beach is NPR correspondent Sarah McCammon. You're not just a reporter reporting from Virginia Beach today, you are a resident. I mean, as somebody who lives there, how is the community doing today? You know, people respond to these shootings in sadly predictable ways these days. There are so many of them. And as I've, I've talked to a couple of folks to kind of get the pulse of friends and, and strangers as well, uh, there's a lot of uh, what you might expect, honestly, uh, shock that it happened here, just devastation and need to process it, a feeling of numbness. Uh, a, a relatively small group of people gathered for a vigil this morning, 100 people or so, according to a, a colleague of mine. Uh, but there will be more of those. You know, obviously, this just happened, and people are, I think, just trying to make sense of it. At the same time, you know, driving through the community today, uh, things were almost, um, I, I don't know, sort of disturbingly normal. Um, there was a carnival going on in my neighborhood. It looked sparsely attended, but it was still going on. My son's scout troop was still meeting. Uh, things are things are ordinary in a way because this has become so ordinary in America, sadly. Um, but at the same time, it's on everyone's minds and people are thinking about this, talking about it, reaching out to one another to see if everyone's OK. And, and now that the names of the dozen victims have been released, uh, starting to see social media posts and things from friends and loved ones remembering the people who died yesterday. This happened in a government building. I mean, what do we know about security there? I know that the suspect was an employee, but did he have to get through metal detectors or anything like that? My understanding is that this building is used for offices. Uh, there are a lot of engineers worked there, some uh, accountants, administrative assistants, that kind of thing, and also a place where people would come to uh, to deal with sort of day-to-day, -day, rather mundane city paperwork, things like filing for permits. In fact, one of the victims was a contractor who was there at the building to file for a permit. So officials say it's a place that the public is welcome and the public uses. It's uh, you know it is it is in part an office building, but also a place where residents of Virginia Beach come to just do day-to-day -day business. And uh, again, this this man was an employee, so he would have had uh, had as much access as anyone as an employee. And where does the investigation go from here? I mean, what else will investigators be looking for? Well, I know they've spent the past 24 hours or so uh, going through the crime scene, a scene that the chief, Jim Cervera here, described as like a war zone. And I know they've, uh, they've, they've found some additional weapons, they say, uh, but they've looked at the crime scene. They've also looked at the, at the suspect's home and found some, some additional weapons. Uh, but going through the crime scene, just uh, taking an inventory of, of what happened, searching uh, in, in every nook and cranny to try to gather whatever evidence they can. And of course, uh, the victims have all been identified, but that was much of the work of last night was identifying those victims, notifying their family members. And now, of course, the grieving begins. All right, NPR's Sarah McCammon, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.